everybody, welcome to this video. You come, I join you today for on a very warm Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> you can probably tell. But I come to you with a quite a serious video, and I'm doing it on this channel, my TF Nosy channel, because I have decided to make videos through this channel now, talking about anime subjects. And this is anime related. But at the same time, it's not just because it's... I'm not doing this video just because it's anime related. I'm doing this because it's something that means quite a lot to me. And it's something that I would like to try and spread some awareness with the people that uh, subscribe to me. And maybe if anyone wishes to help in any way. Um, there's no... I'm not going to force anybody. This is just simply a, a, a video that I am just doing off my own back and uh, to just kind of uh, let you guys know what what's ever going on. Sorry about the noise in the background, if you can hear that. My dad's put the washing on. It's, it's gone a bloody cycle just as, of, uh, just as I'm doing this video. But anyway, so let's get to it. I don't know, maybe about a week ago now, just about a week ago, there was a tragic, tragic fire. Um in Japan that was an arson attack on an animation studio in Kyoto, Japan. And that animation studio was called Kyoto Animation or abbreviated to as Kyo Animation K-Y-O-A-N-I Kyo Ani Kyo Ani So it's abbreviated as Kyo Ani or the full title is Kyoto Animation and they were behind some of the most influential if yeah I would say influential animes of all time and the most recognized uh, anime series and movies and also they produce light novels as well so they were really quite a an imprint in the uh, manga manga publishing light novel publishing and also anime product production they were quite big a big name uh, most of the titles that they have they produced was uh, Clanad season one and two, uh, Fun of Full Metal Panic season. I think for, I, I'm not sure if they did the whole thing, but um, from what I saw, they did second season and the OVA. They did a series called Air A I R. They did a series called K On. They also did a series called the, Dis the, the a movie called The Disappearance of Harry Suzumiya plus the Men Melancholy of Harry Suzumiya the series, so they did that as well. Um, they also did uh, a few. They went with Netflix as well, some Netflix original anime as well that came out over the few over the past few years. So they've really, really. They're still, you know, they were still doing their thing up until this tragic fire or uh, arson attack on their uh, building and um, I don't know if any more have sadly perished since since that fire but uh, from what I found out from what I know of uh, that was updated um, a few days after the well, about a day 24 hours after the whole fire happened um, it was updated to about 33 people had lost their lives and another 40 odd people were injured. I believe that's what I read right. But anyway, regardless, there was people that sadly lost their lives. And there were still people probably either fighting for their lives or if not really, really badly injured due to the fire. Uh, could have been smoking, but most likely due to smoke inhalation and also possibly burns as well. And um, this individual that did this attack is, in my eyes scum I'm sorry but I don't want to spread hatred with this video but I have to say I know what you know I think this person he need obviously he needs help in some shape or form he needs help he's not in he was not in the right place at all mentally and physically but uh, apparently this individual that um, that carried out this attack was not associated with the company itself, so he wasn't associated with Kyo Ani or Kyoto Animation, um, so he wasn't like an ex-employee or anything like that. He apparently had a residence and he had family in Tokyo, 
um, and he simply just went to Kyoto. He had a petrol can and he doused the ground floor in petrol and set the full building on fire. Um, and apparently when he did that, he said something like, you are all going to die today or you are all going to die, something as menacing as that. And he just set fire to the building. And um, I just ask a simple question. What, what, what brings people to that kind of a... What makes people do that to each other? You know, what? how can someone do that to innocent people that are simply doing their jobs? Even if this person has a problem with the anime production company or he has, he has a problem with something, because there has to be some sort of reason why this, this happened. Not necessarily, it doesn't always have to be, it's probably, you know, because some attacks like this, like anything to do with arson, it's either random or there is usually a, a reason behind it. But uh, I don't know where this will lie in, in the investigation. And that personally, I don't really think we'll find out the true ins and in and outs of why this person did it. But um, the whole idea of this video is I want to talk about this animation production company and provide... <coughs> excuse me and uh, provide information in the description box below for anyone to watch um, or to check out should I say um, so it's just support um, support emails um, basically like support links and things like that to to help with um, just to, to help them because uh, I have noticed, so, sorry, I'm kind of getting a bit sidetracked and getting messages on uh, Facebook and text messages as I'm making this video. I apologise. Um, I'll get back on track. So I've got links in the description box below. Sorry, of um, there's a crowd, big crowd GoFundMe sort of thing that uh, a company called Sentai Filmworks put together. And uh, Sentai Filmworks, if you don't know, are a North American dub company that dubs anime into English. Uh, and also they do subtitles, English subtitles, so they actually help. Um, they, they dub some stuff, but they also uh, just subtitle it to get it, to, to get it out in America and elsewhere. So they also you know help with a lot of that. Um so Sentai Filmworks, I believe, on behalf of Kyo Annie, set up this support uh, for Go GoFundMe. And in doing so, they have, I can't remember off the top of my head how much, but I think uh, when I checked, it was like 190-odd thousand, 190 thousand yen um, at the time of me checking it out. I've no idea if they've exceeded that or if they've hit their target, I don't know. But um, it was an incredible, incredible, generous um, overflow of love from people that either in Japan and outside Japan that have just that have donated money to this lovely cause to help the families, the victims of those, uh, the, the basically all the victims, the those the families behind the, of of those that sadly lost a loved one in the fight in the uh, the whole situation. And also the, the those that are currently in hospital, and obviously to help uh, rebuild, probably to try and help out the company as well to make some sort of comeback. So it's to help the help the people that got hurt, that were injured and sadly killed, and also the families, everyone that is involved in some shape or form. And I will put a link to that there and I will also link any other causes because I believe there's quite a lot of discussion and a lot of people that are really showing, spreading the love, so to speak, uh, in regards to Kyo Annie. So if I find any other causes, I will put the links below as well. I apologise if I'm yammering on. I'm not making much sense with this, but I'm trying to come to terms and trying to come to some sort of sense with, in my mind... Of how someone could do this to innocent people. I mean, this I know this happens all over the world. There's been some terrible stuff, you know, 
uh, there's been some terrible stuff, not just in Japan, but everywhere, that makes you question why someone would do something like that to another human being or group of people. Just innocent people just going about their lives and someone does that to people. But it's just tragic because it's not just... Even though I'm talking about the anime here, it is an anime. It is an animation production company called Kyoto Animation, and I am an anime fan. So yeah, okay, to some extent, I am, I am really, really upset because it's one because they produce some of my favorite animes of all time, and and some of the most renowned animes of all time, and and movies as well. And it's just, for me, it's devastating because I've been a fan, but it's also devastating because I feel so, I just feel so horrible. I just, I feel terrible because for the, for the families and for the people involved in that were sadly involved in it, you know, in some shape or form, um, just tragic, but if anyone wishes to check out any of the links below, I will leave them there for everyone to just voluntarily just look through. Um, and thank you to Kyo Ani. I know no one, no one's going to be watching this because it's Japan after all. I really don't know how it's going to transcend boundaries like that. I don't think this video is going to do that. But anyways, I just want to do this. Thank you to Kyo Ani for producing over the years some of the most renowned beautiful pieces of work and beautiful pieces of uh, anime and obviously your work with uh, light novels as well thank you for bringing us and uniting many of the anime community together and just thank you for the work that you've done and uh, i just want to say i am and sending Thoughts and prayers to everyone, the families of of the of, of the victims that passed away, those that are still, luckily still here with us, um, but uh, obviously in hospital, um, and just everybody is associated with Kyo Ani. Uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to everyone, and thank you for watching this video, and until next time, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will see you soon. Peace. Bye-bye.